So I want to answer part three in a video to be a little different and to be able to, to talk about um, how I want to respond to these questions. I guess to go more in depth. Question one, what does a smart person sound like? At first, I wanted to say a smart person sounds confident, but I realized that that's not always the case. I don't think there's a specific sound that a smart person sounds like. Um, when I first, like I said, when I first thought about it, the first thing that came to mind was somebody confident. But then I realized that that's not the case. It's not just confidence, right? Sometimes we can be smart about something, but maybe we don't like communicating. I personally do not like large crowds, um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not smart, right? What does an unintelligent person sound like? They don't have a sound. I think we have stereotypes that we think of when we think of an unintelligent person. We think of maybe a really strong accent. Um, in one of my sociolinguistic classes, we talked about how sometimes unintelligent people on TV have southern accents. But we have plenty of people down here in the south that are very intelligent with strong accents, right? What does a villain sound like? I think the first thing I think of is a deep voice, stern voice. Um, obviously, that's not always the case, right? Yzma from Kronk's, from the Emperor's New Group. What does a hero sound like? I think a hero, in my head, when I think of Captain America and Iron Man and the, um, I guess, the Avengers, I think of a strong, stern, confident voice. Um, but then we have heroes who don't sound like that. But I think that's how they're portrayed mostly um, in the media and in, in our and like represented in you know things that we see. How important is language in determining someone's intelligence? Intelligence. I think people do judge people on how they can convey their thoughts through language, right? We read a lot, a lot of our textbooks in college have this really prestigious language where you have to read it about three times because you're like, what did they just say? But you're like, oh, these are smart people, right? And when we're writing our papers, we have like an academic language that we, we adhere to. Um, so, where do we get our perception about intelligence and language? I think the media and movies and TV and radio, um, just the general, I think, and the things that we read sometimes too in books, right? Like sometimes when you have kids, uh, not kids, characters, characters that are unintelligent, they speak slang, right? They have like contractions and things like that. So I think that's where we get our perceptions from. What if someone doesn't speak a language correctly? Does that mean they're not smart? No, it doesn't mean they're not smart, right? Maybe it makes them smarter to know, you know, sometimes it makes them smarter to know more than one language, to put that effort, to have to transcribe and translate things in their head before they speak. Um, what about accents? What does it mean to have a southern accent in Turkey and or the U.S.? A New York accent, foreign accent, Lay's accent or Kurdish accent? Um, I think in TV and the things that we were talking about where we have these perceptions, a southern accent is kind of, they portray it as being uneducated. Um, but personally, having... Grown up here in Georgia, I realize I have a southern accent when some people point it out. But I don't think that makes me any less intelligent. Um, I don't think that makes anybody that I went to school with less intelligent. It's just where we're from and how we were raised, right? Um, and then I, in New York, same thing. That's how they grew up. They were taught. I don't think... Um, it makes them any less intelligent. I just think these are generalizations and stereotypes that, you know, we just grew up hearing. So, I don't know in the media or in stories or movies or things like that, what part of the U.S. is portrayed as smart. 
accents? Like, would it be somewhere out in the Midwest or the West Coast? I don't even think the West Coast, right? Because you have that Valley Girl talk. I think that they also make the Valley Girl accent seem dumb sometimes on TV. So I'm wondering where in the U.S. do they portray a smart accent? But yeah, thank you for watching my video. I thought it would be different to be able to answer these questions in a different format.